My name is Russell Shokes III. I'm a activist, an artist, a designer. I first met the Bruderhof uh, at a tech fair with my sister and uh, we were looking at computers and things of that sort and we ran into uh, Janie and Carl, two sales reps from Rift and Playthings, and then from there we met the rest of the Bruderhof. They invited us up. My first initial reaction to uh, the representatives from the Bruderhof at the actual tech fair, Carl and Janie, were actually just a uh, amalgamation of fear and a, a bunch of questions around uh, who are these people, you know, why is she wearing a bonnet, um, whatever it may be, but uh, that was the initial kind of uh, take on the Brudolph. And it was just two people as their representatives, but that's what I, that was the take I took. Well, I was surprised that uh, it was a full-on community, which I didn't expect. Janie and Carl didn't give us any clues about what we were getting into, who we were coming to visit, um, that there was a religious base, um, anything like that. So when we came and there was a lot of uh, people just looking to meet you, looking to embrace you, looking to bring you in, looking to serve you, looking to uh, give you a glass of water, or looking to have dinner with you or lunch, or just looking to um, show their ability to be humans and possibly your friend. So, you know, in closing up, I would just like to say that it's very important that when visiting a Bruderhof or even thinking about visiting a Bruderhof, that you don't make some of the same mistakes that I made, falling into your fears, not being open, um, thinking that uh, this could be something outside of what you could imagine. And I'm saying very specifically that the sky's the limit when you come and visit the Bruderhof and you should keep that in mind.